In today's video, I'm going to be showing you three beautiful and easy Hobby Lobby dupes that you can do. And I love how they all turned out, so let's jump right in. So the first thing I picked was this Welcome to Our Patch Home Decor sign. It looks like a little palette here and it's supposed to look like a pumpkin. It was $13.99 and these are um on sale on the website. They have 50% off and they do most of the times at Hobby Lobby. But, you know, sometimes it's still pretty pricey and sometimes, you know, they may not have that 50% off and it is, you know, way more more so i have this sign here that i got from a thrift store it was four dollars and that's um the only only thing that i bought for this that i had to spend so all i spent for this um in total was four dollars now if you didn't have the things you would need to purchase the other things so maybe it does you know maybe it benefits you or maybe it doesn't if you have the things already if you are a crafter then you wouldn't really have to buy anything and so I'm just giving it a coat of this orange paint and I left it as a distressed look and I let that dry really well. Now I'm going to go in with these sticker letters and I am just going to spell out welcome to our patch. And the one that was on the sign at Hobby Lobby was all capital letters, but I didn't have enough of the capital letters. So I just put it all lowercase, but I I don't think it really matters. It still looks really good. So I just put welcome to our patch there. And um, when I place down the letters, I do not push them down all the way. Just in case if some of them are misplaced and uneven, then I can easily uh, peel it up and then fix it. So once I see that they are all nice and placed good, then I'll push them down and I'll go over it with a nice coat of Mod Podge just to seal in those letters and make sure that they won't be coming off. If you guys would like to see more videos on dupes, not um doesn't have to be Hobby Lobby, it could be from any store, please let me know down in the comments and I will gladly do them for you guys. You could recommend me a store and I will do it, any dupes that you would like to see and I will gladly do them. I love to create dupes, you know, just to do things that are more budget friendly. And if we could save some money, then why not, right? <laughs> so now I am just going over with that layer of Mod Podge, as I said. And then I'm going to let that dry really well before I continue on. And then what I do next is I add the stem for the pumpkin. And I'm just going to go in with these sticks, bag of sticks here um, that I got from Dollar Tree. I'm just going to pick out one that I like for the top and simply place it down using my hot glue gun. And... I really love how it's looking so far. It's already looking like a pumpkin, of course, with that stem now. And then I'm going to go in with some raffia. And I took a little piece here. I'm going to twist it in the center so that it stays all together. And I'm going to place that down using my hot glue. And I'm also just going to place a little bit on the sides just to kind of keep it in place and this is not actual actual um raffia that uh the dollar tree sells this actually came off of a hula skirt so even if you couldn't find raffia then you can use that and you guys how beautiful is this little diy that my daughter made she wanted me to show you guys in here in my video and i absolutely love it it's a little fall diy she just loves to do diys with me from time to time and she really enjoys it and i enjoy her company as well let her know how she's done down in the comments and i will show her she gets so happy and excited whenever she does diys with me and so now guys as i said i did place some hot glue onto the side so it can stay together and then I'm also going to make a little bow using the same raffia and I'm going to place that in the center right below the stem. And then this DIY is absolutely complete, you guys, and I really love how it turned out. I think it's really cute. It's all solid wood and just for four bucks, you cannot beat that. And you can honestly do this with about eight bucks so it's it's still gonna be cheaper than at the store and i really love it let me know what you guys think of this diy
All right, next up we have this little pumpkin little decor piece and this goes for $19.99 with the 50% off. Original price is $40 and I still think that's pretty pricey. We can do this for way less. So I have here these three little wooden pieces and now as you may know Dollar Tree does carry a lot of wooden pieces that looks exactly like this and so you'll technically just pay about three well now it's a dollar 25 so about four bucks for the wood pieces or and whatever decorations you may want so around five or to six bucks and so you would have your pieces all from dollar tree and you are good to go and so what i'm gonna do to start off is just paint one of them in the orange paints that i used in the first diy and i am not gonna make it full coverage because i do like how it looks with some distressing so i am going to leave it with one coat and then i have these two um fabric uh cloths that you can get from dollar tree they have some really pretty patterns for fall and i'm going to use these two to cover up the other two wooden planks so i'm just going to open it up and you can see how big it is here it comes with a pretty decent size amount and i am just going to wrap this block up and I am going to simply wrap it as you would kind of wrap a present. So you can see here, I'm starting off with the very bottom. And I am just going to use my hot glue gun to do this. And I am going to start with the bottom. I'm going to fold it in. And then just start wrapping it like a present. And you will see exactly how I do it here. It's super simple. Or whatever technique really works for you, then you can just use that. So starting off at the bottom here, I'm putting a little bit of hot glue and then I'm going to press that fabric inside so that it covers it. And I did measure it out so that it just fits that little piece of the wood exactly and it doesn't overlap to the other side. And then I'm just going to simply fold this side in and I'm going to add hot glue so that stays in place as well. And I'm going to fold that in. And then I am just going to continue on with the two sides, uh, placing hot glue down first and then just folding um, the sides. And then I do not cut it uh, beforehand, the big, the rest of the fabric, I fold it over and glue it down first. That way I can see exactly how much needs to be cut off rather than cutting it off and then, you know, risking if I cut off too little. And so I just cut it off once it's all glued nice together. So you can see what I mean here. I am just placing, I'm folding in the side first and then I am gonna flip that whole piece of fabric over and cover up the rest of the wood plank. And that is why I do not cut it first because I wanna make sure that it's gonna cover the entire thing. And then I cut it afterwards and then it looks really good and it's nice and flush to the block and I really love how it's looking. So then we can work on the top that has the opening. We'll just add some hot glue and fold those pieces inside so that it's nice and closed up. These Dollar Tree fabrics are so good for so many DIYs because they do come with some really nice patterns and they always have some new ones in store. So I do recommend to check them out if you want to do, you know, a bit of texture to a DIY or just to add a nice design or pattern. I think these would make a great addition to any DIY. So now once this is all nicely wrapped, I am going to add the stem using that bag of sticks from dollar tree and i'm just gonna pick one out that i like for it and then i am gonna take that other white cloth and i'm gonna wrap the other little wood plank in the same exact way that i wrapped the first one also friends as this is a dupe i did not make it completely the same because the sign from hobby lobby did have you know some patterns and you know silly patterns on it with polka dots and lines and stuff like that but i thought that you can just add whatever patterns that you like and you know it's still a dupe because you are inspired by by that piece um and so i really love the patterns that i chose you know using the cloth but you can definitely use the same patterns that they had on the sign and that would be great too it's really up to you and what you would like to use for your diy 
So here are the three pumpkins all said and done and I want to place them all together so I can make one piece. So I'm just taking my hot glue and I'm going to place the two orange ones together first and I am just going to press that down really nice and tight for a little bit. And then I am just going to add on the white one using hot glue as well and I'm going to flip that over so that I can see exactly where it needs to be placed and I'm just adding a little bit of weight on top of them so that it can make sure that it's nice and pressed down. And then also, you guys, I do take some ribbon and I add it to the back um, with some hot glue just to reinforce it and make it a bit stronger so that it doesn't... Um, you know just in case if it's like moved or anything all the pieces are nice and strong together so as you see here i have a piece of ribbon and i'm just going to connect it you um across the two the orange and white one and i think that is a great way to just kind of make it a bit more sturdy and one piece Now guys, I'm gonna go in with this little wood piece. I wrote pumpkins, I just freehand it, and um, I am gonna put this in the center of the pumpkins. And this little wood piece, I got it from, I believe it was a stand for a back of a frame. And I'm gonna use that now for the front side of this pumpkin stand. And I'm just gonna use a combination of wood glue and hot glue so it can be nice and stuck on there. And I did freehand it because I didn't have any stickers or anything that fit in this little wood piece. If you are not comfortable with freehanding it, then I would suggest using, you know, um, sticker letters that fit on here or even your Cricut if you have one. Or if you're comfortable with freehanding as well, then you can do that. And now that that's on there, I'm going to go in with some thumbtacks because this had one hole in it, so I want to cover it up. So I just put one on right inside of that hole that already had it. And then I'm going to just simply place one on the other side just so it can kind of look like it's nailed in there. And then I'm going to add a simple little bow to the top of the pumpkin. And I do also add a little bit of some um, berries to the orange, the other orange and the white pumpkin on the sides. And I don't show that here, but I, it's just a little bit of berries that I glued on top of them. And that was it for this DIY, you guys. And I absolutely love how it turned out. I think it's really pretty. And I love how it turned out inspired by the Hobby Lobby uh, sign. Let me know what you guys think of this dupe. All right, friends, next up we have here this leaf, pumpkin, and berry arrangement from Hobby Lobby. This was at $30, and girl, we can make this for at least 10 bucks. And so I have this stuff here. I have a whole bunch of different pumpkin um, options, and Dollar Tree has a ton of little pumpkins that you can choose from and also a whole bunch of florals and leaves and whatever you would like to put in here so 
honestly you can make this piece for way less and now i have these cubes here and the good thing is i had these already like this these are little drawer cubes that you can find at dollar tree and they are already stained from a prior diy so that was perfect because it is almost the same color as the hobby lobby little arrangement so i have this already here and now i'm gonna go with some floral foam and i'm gonna just cut pieces to place inside of each little section and i am gonna hot glue them down so that they won't move that much so i'm gonna place them down into each one and then i have a whole bunch of different assortments of leaves and stuff as well as you can see here there's just a ton and I'm just going to start, you know, assorting them and just placing them here and there as I like. And there is no rhyme or reason as to how to do this. It's really until your eye is happy. Just keep adding, take away, keep adding whatever you need to do. So until your eyes are happy and you are satisfied with how it looks. And that is exactly what I did. And I did end up uh taking some stuff out because I could, as you can see here these little um they're a bit uh burgundy kind of purple color these little um i don't know what are they called um these things that i'm adding in here but they have tall grass in them and i end up do cutting them out because i didn't like how it looked and so I did that and now I'm adding in some pumpkins. I have these green one green ones here and I really love how these look. And I just add them here and there all over. And then I do add some leaves and different colored pumpkins and everything necessary for this arrangement just to make it look, you know, close to the original. And I already had all the stuff on hand, but if I did just buy this from Dollar Tree, everything all of the items that i needed it only would cost you around ten dollars and it, it just depends on how much you want to add in here but as you can see just a little bit already makes it look full and most of the most of it is just leaves anyway so around ten dollars you could make this beautiful piece and you have something that looks exactly the same for way less and you guys, that is all there is to this little arrangement. I'm just going to keep adding stuff here and there. And that is it. And I love how it turned out, you guys. I think it turned out super beautiful and looks really similar to the one at Hobby Lobby for a way cheaper price. Let me know what you guys think of this DIY. You guys, if you enjoyed today's video, please do give this video a big thumbs up. I would truly appreciate it, you guys. That does help out my channel and to reach new viewers. So do hit that like button and do consider hitting that subscribe button as well because I would love for you to be a part of my YouTube family, you guys. And I will see you all on the next one. Take care. God bless. Bye.